Okay, I'm talking with uh, Phil Overy from NavTech Radar. Uh, Phil, what is new with Rav NavTech Radar at the show? Uh, this year we are launching the Witness 2, which is a uh, second release of our radar processing and alarm management system. Uh, we're also uh, trying to get across the message uh, about the benefits of radar versus other uh, technologies that are used for similar applications. Okay, can you run us through what some of those benefits are? Yeah, the main benefit of radar versus other t technologies that are used for perimeter uh, intrusion detection, such as buried wire, uh, fence sensors, thermal cameras, is the ability of the system to uh, provide surveillance over a full 360 degrees, both inside and outside your site. So this doesn't just cover the perimeter, but it covers the whole site, inside and outside, allowing you to do such things as provide warnings of activities that are just about to happen, as well as providing um, uh, tracking of intruders once they've entered your site. So you don't lose them once they've got over the perimeter fence. It actually tracks them inside the site so you can see what's happening uh, should they perform any um, uh, <coughs> criminal activities inside your site. Okay, and um, what sort of... Uh what sort of applications, what sort of places would this be useful for? Any large open uh, uh, site, typical applications are things like um, airports. Airports are very good applications. You can cover a whole airport with a very small number of radars. Typically an airport would have a, a, a perimeter fence of in excess of 20 kilometers, so that's an ideal application. You can cover a, a, uh, an airport with um, as little as two radars in some circumstances, so it's a very cost-effective solution as well. Um, Things like uh, naval bases are a, a good application detecting um, intruders coming in over the water. Uh, power stations, again, large open sites. Um, military bases are also a, a, a good application. We also have um, systems in places like data centers uh, um, where, again, a high level of security is required on a large site. Okay, and what about the user interface? Has that been designed to be fairly straightforward? For, for... Yeah, the, the system, although it's extremely flexible, um, allowing you to set up pseudo-intelligent um, uh, rules to govern when the alarms are given. Uh, once that's all done, and we do that with the system integrator, then the, the user is, is presented with a very simple overhead view of the site, and any objects which, which uh, break into the perimeter or um, trigger the alarms are tracked on the overhead view, and therefore the, the system is extremely easy to use. It's very little interaction. The tracking and the camera following of the uh, intruder is all fully automatic. Okay, and there's been a lot of interest in it so far? Yeah, we, we, we've had a lot of interest, actually. We, we're finding over the last couple of years that uh, a lot of these large sites, uh, critical national infrastructure sites, airports, are starting to specify radar as a, uh, as a technology that they wish to use. So we're getting a lot more interest in than we did, and, and uh, we're having a good uh, show here at IFSA. Excellent, brilliant. Thanks for talking to me. Cheers, Bill.